Welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for Beer 30 O'Clock. Folks, this is a journey, a journey that we are going to engage in together to find that perfect beer. I am a man on a mission, a man on a journey to find the ultimate beer, the perfect beer for that perfect occasion. And we're gonna do it together. I've got a crazy cast of characters, folks from all over the KOE nation and all over the internet that are looking forward to sharing their experiences of some of their favorite beers with you. So folks, without further ado, let's get right into this beer 30 o'clock review. Hello and welcome back to another Beer 30 O'Clock Review from the KOE Nation. I am your 14-time Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast Champion, the quadruple distilled, non-chill filter, Tony Fucking G. Find me on TikTok at Tony the Rod. And tonight, I am going to be trying for the first time ever something that's been in my fridge for some time that I have not tried, but thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do so. Anchor Liberty Ale. This Anchor Brewing Company handcrafted since 1896 i know nothing about this this was in the random bin at one of my favorite wine beer and spirits locations this is the pale ale that launched the revolution folks when we first brewed this beer to celebrate the bicentennial of paul revere's ride we had no idea it would kick off a revelation revolution of its own now known as the first american pale ale and the beer that started the IPA movement. It's bright, dry hopped, and timeless. Taste has kept it the craft standard to this day. Okay, tasting notes of citrus, summer fruit, and American hops. Boy, I hope that's true. I don't know where Anchor Brewing Company is. Let's see if, oh, it's in San Francisco. Okay. It's, oh, what's what's that tab pop gonna be like? Oh, classic, oh, aluminum. Well, this is going to get minus points right out the gate with me. I'm not a huge IPA fan, I'll be frank. I have to find something to clean that up. Wow, that is... Whew! Wow, that smells not great. Wow. I don't know. Uh, kind of. Honestly, it smells like Lemon Pledge. <laughs> if it tastes like Lemon Pledge, boy, oh, howdy, our... You went for a good review. Oh, man. Whoa, that's a different flavor than the smell. Yeah, it smells like Lemon Pledge. I'm getting more chocolate, though. Oh. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Anchor Liberty Ale. This is an IPA, an American IPA. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Um, I could actually drink that. It's very hoppy. It's got that sharp hop flavor on the palate, but wow. Surprisingly, that doesn't ruin the beer and it dissipates enough. It, it's it, it's mean enough. There's a real chocolatey, it's like a cocoa chocolate, like a dark chocolate on the palate. I'm not hating that at all. It's got that aftertaste that most IPAs have, which kind of sticks in the back of your throat that I'm not a huge fan of. But it, it's a, yeah, citrus for sure is the lingering fruit flavor there. That's not terrible. I really expected that to suck ass. I'll be frank. Um, so we're going to rate this on a few scales. Um, as a beer, as an IPA, and where I would put this in my beer fridge. As a beer, this is, uh, it's going to be a lot more appealing to the craft beer crowd, obviously. So, this is going to be something that I could actually consider to be a pretty decent sipper for something that's not just a standard light beer that you want to drink a bunch of on a Friday night. This this isn't bad. So, as a beer, I'm going to give this a three. Solid three. Pretty good. You might get a few people come around to IPAs on this. As an IPA... It's one of the better ones I've had. I'm going to give it four and a half as an IPA. There's not a lot that I'd visit in the IPA world. This, I would. Where would I put this in my beer fridge? Usually you can put it on the top shelf, in the door, or in the drawer on the bottom where all the crap you don't like sits. This is going to be in the door. I'm not going to have a lot of these on hand. 
be kind of a special occasion thing, you know. So yeah, I put this in the door for sure. Anchor Brewing Company out of San Francisco. Your Liberty Ale. Not a bad IPA by any means. Pretty good. Surprised the hell out of me. Thanks for watching that. Um, George Washington's favorite beer was a molasses porter out of Philadelphia, says Dan Food 10 Man. And he follows up with drinking water with a sketchy proposition back in those days. So people who only drink 2% small beer were considered irritants.